is up guys, Austin Nerd Show here and today we're bringing you another episode of My Morphin Collection and today we are opening the Legacy Collection Power Ranger set. So of course we have the figures and these have the build of figures you can see here that build the Megazord. So we have of course the five Rangers where each come with a piece to build the Megazord. Then we also have the green and white Ranger to go along with it. So I've obviously been waiting a long time for many many months buying each of these as they came out because they were released in multiple different sets with like so many for each set and everything and I finally found the last one of the Yellow Ranger and so now I can finally build them all and build the Megazord and I'm super excited about that so I'll go ahead and obviously open all these and then we'll go through each one and then at the very end we'll build a Megazord so let's get into it okay guys and we're back so we now have the first one here and we'll go ahead and start with the green, uh, Blue Ranger I almost say Green Ranger wow um, so Blue Ranger, of course, um, you, if you haven't seen, I've done um, unboxing of figures like these before and stuff, um, but they're really cool because they're, of course, super articulate, so they have all sorts of movement that can go on in their bodies and stuff like that, and so you can do them in all sorts of poses and stuff. Bad thing is, of course, if you try and get them to stand up, they easily fall over because they have weak joints and stuff because of the, so all the movement and everything. And then they don't stand straight and all that sort of stuff. Um, but of course all the Rangers, as I've gone over many times before with um, Power Rangers episode, the Rangers are pretty much all the same, just different colors. Obviously this one's blue. He has the Triceratops helmet on, as you can see with the three horns. He has the Morpher with the Triceratops. I don't know if you can see it very well on there and stuff. But then each one of them does come with um, the Power Blaster and a holster to put it in. And so they just kind of um, go on to the side um right there and just kind of stick with that so the one thing that is disappointing though is that they don't come with their actual weapons so, like he doesn't come with his uh lance and stuff like that um but they do come with the um, power blaster even though it's not even in any proper form that they use it in. it's not in the sword or the um gun mode so it's kind of weird so it just kind of goes on the side in the holster so we have the blue ranger there and then he, of course, comes with his corresponding pod of the Triceratops, which forms into um, the uh, what be left leg of the Megazord. Um, so it looks really cool. It's got a lot of detail, of course, in the Triceratops and everything. And it looks exactly like it does, um, like the Zord toy, just in um, the like standing up mode for the leg instead of the actual Triceratops and stuff like that. Of course, this even has all sorts of movements, so you can do all sorts of... Um, poses and stuff with the Megazord when you build that. So of course we'll go ahead and just sit this over to the side here and wait to build the Megazord. So that was the Blue Ranger. Whoa -doo. So we'll move on now to the other corresponding leg of the Yellow Ranger. And so of course the Yellow Ranger is just again like the Blue Ranger. But of course this is a girl and um, all the girl versions of these are kind of pains because they have such skinny legs. And so when you do if you can get them to stand up, which is, which of course, when they're in the package, their legs kind of mint, so on for you, you can see it's kind of like bow-legged and stuff, um, so it's really hard to get these to stand up, and if they do, they fall over easily, um, but it's a pain, but I'll have to figure it out to put it on the shelf with all my other stuff, but of course, this is the Yellow Ranger, so she has the um, saber tooth Tiger Morpher, which again, you probably can't see, and then she has the saber tooth Helmet with, of course, the two teeth, and the nose, and the eyes, and the little ears, and stuff like that, and then she also comes with the um, power blaster again in the weird mode and it just again just goes on the side of her oh there we go got it in there and so that's all that the yellow ranger is and of course again a lot to a lot of movement and everything but again especially being thin like the girls are in this um, their joints are really weak so they easily fall and drop stuff and everything and then she comes with the right leg of the megazord which is her saber tooth tiger so again, you can see the saber tooth. It's weird that its teeth are up in the air. I don't remember them being up in the air like that, but it may be. But it looks cool still, though. No, either way. Um, now this leg kind of fell apart real easily when I took it out of the package. But again, they have a lot of movement. So again, the foot, the leg, and stuff. And of course, there's a joint that goes connects it to the rest of the zord. So of course, we'll sit that down over here, getting ready to or preparing to build the megazord, and we'll move on to the next one. And we'll go ahead and do the Black Ranger. 
Um, so some kind of seeds start with the table and stuff, but surely the light difference will help. And of course, he comes again with the power blaster and everything. So again, just like the others, the, the um, men or the guys, what are males, whatever you want to call them, of this sets are really nice because they have like thicker arms and legs, so they stand relatively easy. There, I usually don't have many problems with them. Like, see, that was pretty simple and quick, and he's standing. Um, but again, he's the mastodon, so you can see the mastodon helmet right here. So it's kind of got like the trunk of an elephant or mast on this case right there then he has the tusk so one on each side so like the double tusk of an elephant and their eyes and all that and then of course the mast on morpher which that one you can kind of see pretty well right there so that's really cool and then again the blaster as I already mentioned and once again would be cool to come with weapons because um, Zach's uh, axe power axe is one of my favorite weapons out of all the power rangers and stuff um, but that's the black ranger and then he comes with um, the that'd be left arm, I believe, of the Megazord. And so, of course, this um, has bending like that. Of course, the wrist can move around, and then the shoulder doesn't move really. It will once it's and it can like spin and all that sorts of stuff. And then it's cool that it has the shoulder shields that kind of move and all that sort of stuff. So we'll just sit that over there and move on to number four, which is the Pink Ranger here. And again, comes with the blaster and stuff. So, of course, we have the Pink Ranger here. She is the pterodactyl. And, of course, you know she has, like, the dress skirt thing on where the Yellow Ranger does not. And kind of like a fun fact, if you don't know much about Power Rangers, um, in the original, so the original Power Ranger series was um, all the Ranger parts like this was when they're in these outfits was filmed in the Japanese versions of, like, Super Sentai. And so in that version, a male played the Yellow Ranger, and um, the pink was still a female. But when they uh, switched over to the American, they made the um, Yellow Ranger. Um, actually, I don't know if it was still a female in the show, but at least a male was in the costume, so that's why it doesn't have the skirt on. Um, but the Pink Ranger does because it's a female and stuff. So it's kind of like a weird transition where in the America they made the yellow female and stuff. But she's the pterodactyl, so you can see the head, which this one's always kind of weird. So it's supposed to be like the wings and stuff like that. And then it's got the like head of the pterodactyl coming up with the two little eyes there. Then the beak there down into her face and stuff. And then of course she has the pterodactyl um, morpher there. Which again that one's kind of hard to see. And then the power blaster that goes on to her side. Let's see if I can get this one on. And again she's a female version obviously. So going to be hard to get to stand. And their arms especially are super weak. Like... Um, a different one which I'll eventually do videos on I mean I've already opened them and stuff unfortunately um, but it's the uh, ninja storm I believe they are um, the FEMA or the they all came with like big uh, swords and stuff and so getting the FEMA to hold the sword was kind of difficult and stuff um, but that is the pink ranger oh and I forgot that she came with the right arm so just like the other version but of course for the right arm so we'll lay that there to continue building the megazord Next up, in the final part of the Megazord, we have the Red Ranger here, which of course is the leader, Jason. And we have his Power Blaster and uh, holster there. So of course this one is the Triceratop, or Triceratop, sorry, Tyrannosaurus Rex. So you can see like the mouth with all the teeth and the eyes of the T-Rex and all that sort of stuff. And then on the Morpher T-Rex, which kind of can't really see that one very well but again this is a, um, a male so it's got really nice uh, thick body parts to be able to stand up really easily and we, whoops, as we drop the thing and we can go ahead and put the um, holster on there with the uh, the bullet stuff of course he was the one um, the Red Ranger here was played by uh, Austin St. John which was the one I got to meet at our Comic Con and God's autograph stuff so it's super cool and he's always one of my favorites and everything and he came with the best part of all of it, and that is the um, chest or center, upper torso, whatever, and head. So, of course, we have the upper um, Megazord part here. So, now we can actually build all the parts to, or put the whole Megazord together and stuff. Um, but then we still have some extras to go here. So, that's going to be it. And then we'll go ahead and do the others and then build the Megazord. And so, first up, out of those, we have, these two are, of course, my favorites. We first up have the Green Ranger, 
And so he kind of comes with a lot of different stuff. So he has, I believe this is like the Sword of Darkness or something. I don't really remember it much from the show. I've seen it um, later on with a bunch of toys like this one, obviously, and stuff. So I assume it's got something to do with Power Rangers. Like I said, I don't remember from the show, but I could just miss that episode or something. But we have the Sword of Darkness. Then, of course, we have the Dragon Dagger in its sheath. So, of course, we have the Dragon Dagger here. Oh, if it focus. But it looks super cool, and it's got a lot of detail in it for this little thing, because usually stuff's just like this. This would, like, be the Dragon Dagger, like, just a black thing like that. But they actually put all the detail into it and, store, and stuff, and, of course, have this, the sheath to go into it. So I'll go ahead and put it here on the side. Oh, it looks like it doesn't fit very well. Oh, well. I'll just leave it there for now. And then he also came, which I... It's kind of weird... I mean, maybe for some off the look, but he also came with two other hands. Um, so they're uh, like this shaped instead of being fully like cup circles. They're like more wide open. So I'm not exactly sure what those are for. So I'll have to look. I don't know if maybe um, the way he holds the sword. I mean, obviously I know this isn't how you hold the sword, but I'll, he sometimes like holds it all weird with this in one hand and then like the blade like this in the other. I don't know. I'll have to look to see if the box shows anything because he's the only one that comes with two hands so I'm not exactly sure what you would need these hands for compared to these because both of these would be able to hold the sword and the um, dragon dagger so I'm not exactly sure what but of course we have the green ranger here and so he's a dragon so it's hard to tell he looks just like the um, T-Rex only he's got like a fin on top and then his red jewel then he has the um, dragon armor I don't know exactly again what you call this I haven't um, looked it up to remember anything but I'll just call it the dragon armor but it's a power armor type uh, shield um, gold shield that he wears of course it gives him like extra power and stuff and then of course he has the armbands which go along with that and stuff which he does at one point give to the red ranger and the black ranger throughout the series to give them some extra power but he then has his morpher here which has like um, a foot or to, I could say it's like a um, supposed to be like the foot of the dragon zord. It's like a three pronged foot type thing, like a dinosaur foot. But it could be like a leaf or something. I don't know. It could be many things. But that is the Green Ranger. Of course, he doesn't come with any parts from the Mega Zord. Um, he's just all by himself and being super awesome. Then it's my all time favorite one, which of course you've already seen all these. It's the White Ranger, and he's absolutely awesome. And so he comes with the sheath, which is kind of weird because it's like cut open. So I don't know exactly how you uh, put this in here to hold Saba unless it goes around his head. I don't know exactly how you do this, like I said, unless you somehow open it and then put Saba's neck part in through here. Not exactly sure, but of course this is Saba, his sword. So it has the tiger right there, which talks and stuff in the show and helps control the um, tiger zord, his zord. And so it, and it has a lot of detail and it has this logo right there. And it's just got a lot of awesome detail and everything into it, which is cool. Then we have the White Ranger himself. And again, he's the tiger. So it's kind of hard to tell, but like on his head, you can kind of see like the, it's supposed to be like the stripes of the tiger. And he has little like ear shapes and then the eyes and then the mouth with the like whiskers coming off the side of the tiger. And then that's his logo here which again I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be besides maybe a uh, tiger looking stripe face thing or something not exactly sure um, then he has his weird like square belt things I don't know what those are supposed to stand for and stuff but then he has like a power chest but this time he doesn't give this stuff at all and of course he has gauntlets and everything just really cool and again these are all super poseable his leg kind of uh, bit here so he's kind of bow legged um, which these are kind of hard to fix. So hopefully he'll be able just to stand up um, pretty easy. Like I said, his bow leg's going to be hard, but um, hopefully I can get it to work and everything. It's going to be like an old man with weird legs. Or something. But that is the White Ranger. So now we will put together the Megazord, and then um, once I get it together, because sometimes it's hard to get the pieces, so I'll put that together and then bring it back. Okay, so we got the uh, Megazord all put together, and um, it was difficult to get some of the parts together, like I said. But we got it all together, and it's not bad, but it kind of looks weird. This yellow um, leg here, the saber tooth, is all kind of weird, how it's super movable and stuff. So, it, one, it fell apart when I was putting it together, so I had to put it back. But it's like its proportions are, or not proportions, but like stuff, how there's such like a large gap right in here. 
it seems like it needs to be closer together and then the same thing with up here it's a lot close um, there's a lot of room uh, compared to the um, triceratops leg and so it doesn't move very I mean it moves but it's kind of stiffer where this one's all like wobbly like Whoa. and so when I stand it up he's kind of like uh, um, crooked or something because this legs like a little bit longer than the uh, triceratops so that's kind of weird so obviously we have the triceratops for the right leg the left leg is the saber tooth then we have um, this whole body part is the of course up to the head is the um, triceratops this chest plate right here is the um, pterodactyl, so the pink rangers, even though it's not pink. But this this whole front chest plate here is all of her, that. And then, of course, we have the arms. And on the back here, the guns and everything belong to the mastodon. Um, so the black rangers and um, body parts and all of that. So it's real cool. Aside from this like leg, like I said, that's super wobbly and... Uh, makes it crooked and everything. It's really cool, and I love having this. I wish he had a, his sword though. There was the like uh, the Megazord's giant sword and stuff. I wish one of the Rangers. Of course, we could look like this. It's almost proportional <laughs> to it. Um, but I wish one of the Rangers would have maybe came with it or something. Um, but it's still really cool, and I'm super excited that I was finally able to get this. Like I said, after months, I don't even know when. It feels like a year now I've been holding on to some of these Rangers and stuff, just waiting for them to release all of them. And then I could never find the Yellow Ranger anywhere, either online or in stores. But I finally found it in a Walmart. And so now I'm bringing you this video, and I'm super excited to have it complete because I've been holding the boxes, and now I have the room and everything. But that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below and hit that red subscribe button to see more. And be sure to check out all the other My Morphin Collection videos. And we'll see you next time.